we're trying to create some tiny bird feet. I went ahead and rolled little triangles. I flatten and curve. So that's where we're going to start little toes. And I would suggest doing this on your surface. I'm doing it on my finger so you can actually see. So from here I'm going to cook that and that's going to be his little foot. For basic body shape, I want to get a kind of a rough oval or with a slight pinch at the back. And then for the head, I just want to find a circle that's big enough to balance the body out. This meaning we don't want the head too big and the body too small. And that's kind of big, but some of it would get smashed in this process. So I take a flattened sort of tool and start pulling the head into the body. And then if I want more of a neck, I use the side of a needle or a ball tool to give a little bit more definition. And if the bottom of the teardrop got shaped too much, you can smooth it with your fingers in the direction that you want. And then if you just take two smaller teardrops, you place one on either side for the little wings. For the beak, I take just a tiny bit of clay make a little cone shape I start smoothing that into the face. And then I take a smaller one. And I smooth that on the bottom. And depending on how big the bird is, sometimes half of it is um, so there you get a top and a bottom. I know it's hard to see now. And you have to continuously roll it. harder to see with this one being so tiny. 
I baked two little round portions and positioned them for eyes. They're just two balls that look about the right size for eyes that I pre-bake. Then I push them in. After I push it in, I pull at the front corner and push at the back corner. And here's a bigger one I did so you can see better. So there's the pull and then the push goes there and you push it in enough to start bubbling the clay out around it. So once you're done I push the feet in and then bake it. After baking, I use yellow ochre, titanium, titanium white, and some yellow. And I make a couple different shades of yellow. From here, I'm just painting his little body. I'll paint his little eyes at the very end. I would make it darker in some areas where you might want it to be a little bit darker. I want it darker behind the wings. and it lighter on the top of the wings and a little lighter right on the chest area so I'll go ahead and let him dry and we'll be back this is Angora Top